tech preview, updated roadmap, the latest patch, as well as some interesting updates in the latest Inside Star Citizen. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So, um, super exciting stuff, um, but this one won't be too long. Um, the very first thing I want to cover is the patch notes, just to get that out of the way. We had a recent hotfix for Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.1 that was propagated into I believe a few servers into the hotfix uh, uh, branch and which will I believe is supposed to be going into live probably today. Okay, so the fixes, they have two types of fixes. They have the client side fix, which is immediate. It says here the they fixed an issue where the crash related to interacting with storage kiosks. They fixed an issue where a client uh, crashed in a reading command event or storm. Under the server fixes, they uh, fixed an issue where landing zone freight elevators get stuck on loading content. They fixed an issue of when delivering cargo with the hall C for cargo hall emissions, unloading counter will be negative and never complete the mission. They fix an issue where the unclaimed cargo awaiting transfer warning message persists after logging out and they fixed a server crash fix for this one. So yeah, this one should be, I believe it should be live um, probably right now. Let's get straight into the roadmap roundup. Um, just yesterday, Wednesday, they did update the roadmap. They added a few things to the Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.x branch. And uh, the very first one is Acidic Caves, which says here implementing the Acidic Cave archetype coming to both the Pyro and Stanton system, adorned with luminous pools of water and dramatic stalactites and stalemites. These caves provide a captivating setting for exploration, FPS missions, missing person missions, and more. Along with this, they also added the Rock Caves. So this is going to be the updated version of the Rock Caves that we already have. Um, so that's going to be interesting. It says implementing the Rock Cave archetype coming to both Pyro and Stanton systems. Illuminated by bioluminescent mushrooms, these caves provide a unique atmosphere for exploration, FPS missions, missing person missions, and more. And this one we already know. We know from the latest... Uh, the previous Inside Star Citizen episode, MFD rework and new displays. It says rebuilding ship multifunctional displays in building blocks and including new designs, functionality, customization options. This update also includes a select number of updated ship HUDs, giving greater visibility as well as manufacturer based visual overhaul. That's going to be very interesting this is one of the features i'm looking forward to in the 324.2 patch uh, which is going to be coming in the next few weeks all right so under the release view they ordered the argo atlas um into the release view for 3.24 of course which we already know about all right so up next is uh we've gotten a an update from cig pertaining to a tech preview test that we will see today Okay, so this is the message of the day that we received. We currently have a new RMQ meshing build in testing with QA with the goal of running a tech preview test today and running up to 24 hours. We have worked on many stability and performance changes since the previous test last week and will start out slow and push to increase the player cap throughout the test. Interesting, can't wait to see the improvements that they made this time around. Hopefully the next one after this one will be the pyro version of this where we can actually use the jump gates, um, hopefully. <laughs> All right, and then um, Inside Star Citizen, we had an episode of Inside Star Citizen that dropped today and it's super exciting. It's about engineering gameplay and uh, essentially what they covered is a huge change, right? They mentioned ship armors, they mentioned um, life support, uh, maintaining your components, and the fact that uh, the health of your ship essentially is the health of your components. So if your power plant gets destroyed, there's a possibility your ship may blow up. If your power plant isn't destroyed, then your ship would just go into a soft dead state and even in a softest state, it can always be brought back to life. 
so even if you find a derelict ship you can essentially bring it back to life just by bringing the right components for that ship so really exciting stuff he also spoke about fire and how we can manage fire and and atmosphere pertaining to the life supports and how all these things interact super exciting stuff what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave a link for that in the description down below so you can check it out if you haven't seen it already before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next